Uh, let me first, I'm not talking about how it generally is GTCC. I always have trouble with all three C's. Uh, let me first introduce you to Mrs. Shirley Hans, who is Commissioner of the Mary River County, and she has graciously agreed to join us as moderate this group of what's up here who are running clubs. Uh, the candidates are from my way. The class we are related here to the FBC. Ellen Wayne Kessler. Wayne Kessler. Wayne Kessler. And that's okay. We know more about it. Next is Mrs. D. Mary. My opinion, I was sure, and last but not least, is her look. And with this, thank you. Thank you. All right. Good afternoon, everybody. Good evening. I appreciate the opportunity to moderate your candidate forum today. This is the second opportunity that I've had to do this, and I appreciate it very much. Uh, it is always good when we can get our citizens involved in our uh, to introduce themselves, tell a little bit about themselves, and why they're wanting to run for this particular uh, position, and what are their goals and objectives if they are elected by the people. What about you? Then after that, we have some general questions that were brought to my attention. We're going to ask each candidate the same question and to respond on it, and get about two minutes on that. Then, in the audience, if you have any particular questions, you can write those on the little cards and then submit it to me, and then I will ask those questions. But I am going to ask that the questions that you bring to the panel are questions that everybody can answer. Well, what I mean by that is let's not try to get questions that are very personal. We want to deal with the issues. And the issues are, what are those things that are important to you for the city of Granville? And why would you want, why would these individuals want you to vote for them? Now, there are some, if you have some very concerning issues within the city, please bring those up. I will try my best to get to all the questions, but I may not be able to get to all the questions tonight. What I'm going to suggest is if you have a question and we don't get to it, please get in contact with GCCC. It's got three things? Okay. And bring that to their attention so that you can get a chance to have more dialogue about your concerns at a later time. I understand you have a Facebook page. This is a good way to get those on the social media and get it out to the general public and also get some response. Is that good for everybody? All right, all right. Well, once again, let's do this. Let's give you all a hand of applause for coming out. So I'm going to clap for you too. And let me, let, me, let me say why I do that. You know, a lot of people have different opinions about how their government work or how civic engagement, but the government is you. You are the voters. You are the ones who decide who represents you. So I applaud you all for participating. I know there may be some people who want to come and weren't able to make it. But the information that you hear, please share with your neighbors, please share with your constituents in the area so that everyone can be more informed about what are the issues and what's most important. Is that fair enough? All right, great. All right. All right, so at this time, since we have one lovely lady in the midst, and I'm still one of those old Southern Belle kind of person, I think ladies should go first. So, Ms. Beard, we're going to give you the honor of uh, Ms. D. D. Berry to come up and introduce herself, tell a little bit about yourself and why you're wanting the constituents in Grantville to vote for you. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Dee Berry, and I lived in Grantville for approximately 12 years. I'm running for Post 4, which is an uncontested seat um, due to uh, the current occupant, Mr. Leonard Gomez, moving out of the city. The seat is going to be empty. But there's three of us who'd like to get that seat. And I'm asking you to seriously consider 
voting for me for that seat. Um, I, I, my qualifications actually according to the charter, and I think it's pretty easy to qualify. You have to be over 18 and be a resident of the city of Brantfield. So I'm qualified. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm semi-retired, which means that I've worked a long time, but I still think I've got some of good enough in me. So I'm now a, a um, employee of the Coweta County School System. I'm a substitute teacher. And I, uh, when I go into my classroom, I tell the children, um, I have a motto for them to remember about me. And I go to the, to the board and I write my name on RRY. And I tell them that B stands for beautiful best behavior today and every day. The E, that's for earn respect and you get respect. The R, that's for respect your school. Always respect your school. R, rise up grades to A+. Plus. And why? Yes, we can find a way. And I tell them we means the students and the teachers are partners. It's a partnership. They work together. And their job is to rise up the grades to make the parents happy. And it's kind of funny. I sub in the uh, elementary schools, in the middle schools, and the high schools. And sometimes when I go back, there'll be some B E R R Y, and I'll point to the B, and they'll hear it. But it doesn't. I don't get angry about that because I feel like they remembered, and if they remember that that's what the way they're supposed to be paying the best beautiful behavior today and every day, then that's a good thing. But the students work for us, and then our three little ones. But I'm, I'm married into a family.